Hello and welcome back to another yellow case tutorial. This is Matthias and I'm going to show you how to customize the backup times for Time Machine. For those who don't know, Time Machine is a feature that comes with OS X and you can find it by going to the Apple System Preferences. And in the Systems row, you'll notice Time Machine there, second to last. If you click on it, mine you'll notice is on and it's set to backup my entire computer to a volume that I've actually named manually Time Machine. So yours can be named anything. But essentially what Time Machine does is it backs up your entire computer to a, another volume and that could be an external drive or an internal drive. And as you notice here it uh, backs up hourly for the past 24 hours, daily for the past month, and weekly for all previous months. It also lets you know that old backups are deleted when your disk becomes full. Now, there's also an options button here where you can decide certain things that you do not want to back up. So if you know that this is a folder that's just all junk and you don't want to waste that space, you can actually add that to the items to be excluded list. And this is what you see here. So I'm going to cancel out of that. Now, what you don't see here is a way to customize the schedule for the backups. I don't recommend changing that. I like being able to not think about this, have it back up every hour all on its own. And the advantage of that is if I'm working for six hours on a digital project and if my hard drive were to go kaput, I want to have that work. Some people, however, because either their computer is a little bit older and uh, it lags when Time Machine is running, or simply they want to dedicate um, all of their processing power to another task, while they work, they want to be able to edit this. And for that, I'm going to close out of this. There's a little app that I'm going to go to so a web browser here. I'm going to go to Safari and search for Time Machine Editor. And when I do that, the first option that comes up is the one I'm looking for, turns out. And it's for a freeware app. Freeware meaning you don't have to pay for it. And the domain name that you can search for, if you just want to type that in, is called timesoftware.free.fr forward slash time machine editor. And there's a link for it that if you click on here, it'll download to, in the case of uh, the default folder on Safari, your downloads folder. And I'm going to open it up here. You'll notice that time machine editor.dmg which is this software, has already been downloaded. So I'll click on the little magnifying glass to open that up. Uh, that's not working. Let me just double click on the disk itself. There we go. Okay, so it mounted the disk, the DMG, onto my desktop. And if I double click on it, you'll notice the app called Time Machine Editor. Now what's really important about this and I, I notice a lot of people do this wrong, is you don't want to run it from here. You actually want to move this application to your applications folder. So I'm going to drag it first to my desktop. And I mean, you don't have to do that. I'm just going to open up my finder and scroll to my applications folder and just drag it in. So there we go. That's all I had to do. Now, I'm going to close off everything else. And I can actually throw this away. A copy. I only need the copy that's in my applications folder. And there it is, Time Machine Editor. Now before I start using Time Machine Editor, I want to go to System Preferences and go again to Time Machine and turn Time Machine off. Then I can run Time Machine Editor. And I can start to customize the intervals, whether it's every one hour or in calendar intervals. I can say every hour, uh, let's say, uh, daily at 9.28 p.m. and also weekly on Sundays at, let's say, really late at night. So I'm going to say at um, 12.28 in the a.m. and so forth and so on. So you can, you can make this as complicated or as simple as you like, hitting the plus sign to add another uh, condition or the minus to delete one. You select Apply. Type in your admin password, hit OK, and now you'll notice the switch automatically switches to on. And that's it. Now everything's going to be backed up to 
whatever disk you've set up in Time Machine. So the only thing this is editing, and I'll say this one more time, it's still going to use the settings that you have here in Time Machine, meaning it's still going to back up to the disk that you selected in Time Machine. It's still going to back up with the options you selected in Time Machine. However, it's going to use the intervals that you specify, specified in Time Machine Editor. So there you go. That's how to customize your Time Machine backup schedule.